Hey y'all, today we're going to make a quesadilla casserole and uh, I thought I would share how I do it with y'all. This is a recipe that my uh, niece shared with me and most of the ingredients are like she said but there's a couple things that I didn't have I'm substituting so I will tell you um, what she said to use in place of what I'm using throughout the recipe. So here we go. I'm cooking, um, this is about a pound and a half of ground beef and it's just about done. And to that I'm putting, this is about half a bag of this pepper stir fry, it's just peppers and onions. I'm going to add that to it. Uh, you can just add onions if you want to, but I thought the peppers would uh, give it a little bit more flavor or something, so I'm putting that, and I can already see I'm going to have to change pans because this will not hold everything. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and let this cook, and then I will come back and I will have changed pans. So, I've got the meat mixture changed into the bigger um, pan, and I don't know why I thought that smaller pan might work. But anyway, I've sauteed these onions and pepper into the hamburger meat, and I've drained it. So to that, I'm going to add this big can of crushed tomatoes, or you can add a big can or two small cans of tomato sauce. And so we'll kind of give that a little stir. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we're going to put a can of black beans. I have washed these and drained them because I don't like that thick um, liquid that comes on black beans. And then we're going to put a can of drained whole kernel, kernel sweet corn. We're going to mix that up. And we're going to add a container of taco seasoning mix, a little packet. And mix that up. You can add some um, crushed red pepper if you want to, but <clears throat> sometimes I like something hot and sometimes not, and it's getting later in the day, and I'm afraid going to bed with, <clears throat> excuse me, um, have eaten hot crushed pepper would not be good, so. Anyway, this is all there is to the mixture. You can taste it and see if there's anything you think you'd like to add, but this is it. And now I'm going to put my casserole pan back here and I'm going to cut this burner off. I'm still going to leave it on there just so it can kind of heat through. And I'm going to turn this so that you can see the casserole pan. And that's my oven where it's heated. And here is the pan we're going to use. And I'm going to put some of the mixture down. Spread it throughout the bottom. <clears throat> 
and then I'm going to take some burrito or tortilla wraps and a lot of the things you'll notice here I've gotten at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take a wrap and what I'm going to do is break it in half so that I can get up in the corners with it. And so, see that helps it get in the corners and then I'll put one in the center. And then I'm going to take some, well I've cut half of it off, but it's just uh, the four blend Mexican cheese that I got at Sam's Club. And I'm just going to put some of that over it. Then I'm going to add some of the mixture again. This makes quite a bit of uh, mixture if you want to use smaller cans and less meat, you can and make it, um, you know, a smaller amount or you could make these in smaller dishes and freeze them so you just take it out and pop it in the oven later. Okay, so we're putting another layer. And I should have warmed these because sometimes they want to stick together. Just put that each in the corners. Put one in the center. And now we're going to add some more cheese. on this layer because I really like it cheesy. Then we're going to put the rest of our meat. And spread it out. And we'll add some more cheese. Let me see if I can get you in better. I can't put it on here because it might break the dish. That's about as good as I can do. Then we'll add cheese one more time. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this bag because if y'all followed my hauls, you know I love cheese. And I buy a lot of it. So that is all you do besides put it in your oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until your cheese browns and once your cheese browns then it's ready to eat so i'll put it in the oven and i'll come back when it's done our quesadilla casserole has finished cooking it looks really good i've let it sit a few minutes so that it might um, cut and hold together easier and here it is. So I'm just going to take, I call this a flip, <clears throat> a flipper. But it cuts right through. And so here's what it looks like on the plate. 
I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. There's what it looks like. And so I'm going to give it a taste. This is excellent. <clears throat> very, very good. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a real sensitive throat. Um, I don't know of anything I would do to make this better. It's very, very good. So, I hope that um, you get a chance to make it and you enjoy it too. It's, um, it's really good. Quick to make. And not that expensive to make either. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great evening and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.